bleary looking figure opens the door. Just as a uh, quick note, no one's body is that abnormally large and thin. Not without being able to like walk on all fours. Alright, well, let's just crack on and not uh, worry about Bradley. Janet? What? Um, I was going to say something, but the thought is briefly knocked out of my head by the sight of Bradley's tanned. tanned? muscular. <laughs> I live in southern France. I know a tanned man when I see one. That is not a tanned man. Alright. But he's tanned? Muscular? Really? Muscular? Really? Alright, whatever. An entirely naked body. What is it? He notices me staring and looks down. Oh! He steps back into his room and closes the door. Oh god, I saw how big his penis was. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a bit grim. Let me get dressed first. I hear some rustling and thumps as he moves about. The lights won't turn on. I heard an explosion or something. It woke me up. That's why I came looking for you. Uh, give me a minute. I've got my shirt. Right, we're going down to the basement. Smite people. Oh, if the power's out, that means the overload happened and the force field should be down. He steps out of his room again, putting his jacket on. Let's go take a look. We tiptoe downstairs, eager to see, but still trying to keep quiet. No... As soon as they said, trying to keep quiet, you know they're going to get caught. Beyond the front door, a shimmering, twisted feel of light remains. Not the same one as before, I don't think. I don't understand, how can this still be there if there's no power? Maybe it's weakened, or maybe they weren't telling us the truth. Before I could stop him, he reaches out to touch the force field. His hand goes right through it. What? It's working, we can leave. Oh, God. This is only going to end badly. Thank God I know it's not the end of the game. Come on, Janet. Let's go see if this this new world of theirs. He takes my hand and is suddenly flung backwards. What? I let go of his hands and poke the force field. It's just as solid as ever. Too late. It came back. That can't be right. I, <laughs> I'm slightly agreeing. There's, there, there's got to be a conspiracy. And I bet Alban's behind it. You know what he's like bastard. He aims a punch at the force field and his fist passes through with no resistance. But you. Repeated tests confirm it. Bradley can reach through the force field but I can't. Neither can he if he's touching me. Girls can't get through. Okay. So, <laughs> brilliant. We have a sexist force field. Wonderful. Wonderful. I don't understand. I don't understand why I just went to fast forward. Why did it just go to fast forward? See? There. Alright, we'll go back now. At least now you know that uh, all places are blind. I haven't done this before. I don't understand. Every time we think this house makes sense, it turns out... To... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> this house has never made sense! <laughs> I, not once during this entire series have I gone, What a normal looking, entirely normal situation this is. No, that's not happened! Alright, whatever. Could Linz and Nathaniel and the others have been lying to us all along? Does this force field affect anyone other than me? Maybe you should go out and look for help. We can't go out. You, I can't, you can. What about you? I'd wait here for you. Bradley looks at the force field. He's gonna go anyway. You know, he's like, rebellion type. If I went out there, I might not be able to get back in. If it doesn't affect you. I only got here in the first place because I was holding on to you. There's something very wrong in this house. From the very beginning, they've been nice to you, but not me. They don't want me here. Well, you did pull a gun on them. And now they have that too. They could be planning to do anything to you. Oh, God. Oh, let's not even go there. Damn you, Bradley, and your manovolent... Manovolent? That's another word. Evil thoughts. This field thing blocks you, but not me. You're trapped here, but not me. If I went outside, without you, I might never see you again. And I won't leave you behind. Is that a heartbeat? Well, alright, whatever. Bradley. It's sweet of him to worry about me, but... Should Janet insist that Bradley leave the mansion on his own? Yes. Yes. Yes, he should. It might be my only chance to get rid of him. And usually, whatever is... Ah, bollocks. You know what, that was much fucking easier than I thought it would. I just stood here looking in this blank silence going, hmm, is it this, is it this, is it something around here? Oh. Oh. 
All right, what was the question? I can't even remember. Was it, should Bradley go out? It's sweet of him to what, uh, Bradley. Should Janet insist that Bradley leave the mansion on his eyes? Oh, bollocks, yes. It literally just decided, yes, hang on. We can get this back. Don't worry about that, sonny boy. And then we'll change this one up here and ta-da. Yes. Don't be stupid. Go out, find help and come back for me. If you think they're up to some evil scheme, then this could be your only chance to escape before it's too late. Oh god, there's going to be someone hearing in the background. There's going to be Linz or Alban. Not one, not someone nice. Or Nathaniel Flip. In fact, it could be anyone. <laughs> Alright, if I were you, I would leave. That's bad blood. Then I guess it's a good thing that I'm not you. I would never sacrifice someone else to save myself. That's not what I... He puts his hand on my shoulders. We came here together and we'll leave here together. Yeah. Alright, uh, well someone's trying to get rid of Bradley. All I can do is not. Maybe there's a way to turn the force field off so we can both leave. A bit behind the times, Janet, okay. Losing power was supposed to do that. Oh, God. No. No, no, no. I've just seen one of my biggest annoyances in visual novels. That's not dark. That's the same lighted filter with a dark blue filter over it. That's not dark. That's not how night works. The sun, when he fucks off, he doesn't just go, uh, I'm going to stay around here, but I'm just going to put a filter over my shelf. That's not how it works. Look, those lights there, they're, they're on. <laughs> they're quite clearly on. Arr, it annoys me when visual novels do this. Uh, whatever. Yes, but Linz has been up to something from the beginning, and they've been trying to hide it from us. Maybe the key to all this is in the basement. It's worth a try. Oh, God, we're going to... All right. Murder, here we come. Cautious of every shadow, we make our way out to the basement stairs. Down and around, around and down, until an alarm starts ringing in our ears. No electricity, my ass. Where did that come from? Should we go back? It's too late now, we may as well find out the truth. But at the bottom of the stairs, we only find a firmly locked door. Does one of us know anything about lock picking? Damn it. He rattles at the door a bit. Can you pick locks? Um, I can try, but I've never actually... Oh, of course there's someone with a knowledge in lockpicking. There always is. All right. I don't have that much to work with, though. I don't even have a hairpin. Do you have any safety pins? No, maybe we should just break it down. I think that's enough of that. All right, well, it was always going to be Lindsay who found us, wasn't it? Caught. Well done, Janet. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> So your true colours are revealed. Bradley opens his mouth to speak, but I flick the side of his leg with a fingernail to distract him. What true colours? We heard an explosion and came down to see if everything was okay. An explosion? The power's out upstairs, haven't you? No, it's on. Someone's just, some twat has just put a dark filter in really awkward places. <laughs> the power is on. Alright, whatever. Oh, wait a second. He actually looks worried. What's going on here? Rapid footsteps echo down the stairs. You! There's no time. Get these two out of here. I have to see my lab and hope it's not too late. See, that's how long there's left in the game. That's how I know it wasn't going to be the end of the game. All right. Tuesday morning, fairly early, and the power is back on. Bradley and I are sitting in the main lobby under the watchful eyes of Alvin and Nathaniel. Linz and Raphael are in the basement, still dealing with whatever went wrong last night. Nobody looks happy about it. At least they haven't locked me or Bradley up again. And they've even promised to explain. Once Linz and Raphael gets back... And once Alvin disapproves of it. Because he will. We know what he's like. So we wait. The grand lobby, so impressive when I first saw it days ago. Now in this room, I can't help thinking about the force field that forms the bars of my prison. My prison. Whether it's a prison for anyone else, I can't say. Well, we haven't actually seen anyone else try to go through it. So I imagine it's not. Unless they try to get through it, and that's how we find out that they're magically like girls or pff, transsexuals or whatever. Alright, we haven't told them about Bradley's discovery. If they don't know he can get out, he might be able to surprise them and escape later. If they do know that the fields don't affect him, if they were only designed to affect me, then at least playing dumb means they might underestimate him. I, I, I'm almost certain they know. I don't want to believe that these people we've met are evil. Linz is strange and Alvin is a jerk. But Raphael and Nathaniel have been kind to me. If it's all a lie... Aha, they're here! It's, it's going to be the evil ones always turn out to be good. That's always the way it works. 
now maybe we'll get some answers. And with that, that destroys any hope we have of getting answers. <sighs> oh well, that's a shame. As most of you know, there was some difficulty with the power systems last night. The secondary generators compensated and there was no data loss. However, it's clear that the power demands are slightly higher than anticipated. It is important that we minimise consumption in order to prevent an overload. Therefore, we must disable the air conditioning and water heater. Wonderful. I thought that was the point that we were supposed to get- Ah, right, Linz is evil. Wait a second. I thought we were trying to cause an overload in order to shut down the force field. We will be. Eventually. Five years down the line once they've all had their way with me. I see how it is. Eventually? Please don't get upset. Is there a reason I shouldn't be upset? Yes, we just couldn't tell you. I was right all along. You have been hiding something from us. Not for the reasons you think. We've kept our secrets to save an innocent life. Oh, you can't say something like that and expect it not to be slightly weird. Huh? Come with us to the basement and you will understand. And if you touch anything, they will suffer quite inventive consequences. I'm sure they understand that. Give Bradley and Janet some credit. It is important that we all remain calm. Bugger me, we're actually going to see what the basement looks like. Finally. Everyone looks at Bradley, even me. There's nothing I can do now anyway, so if you want to tell us what's going on, be my guest. Then follow me. Alright. If we get down there, it's just going to be a load of naked girls. I'm going to be disappointed. I expect something mystical which is going to blow my mind away. Okay, Hanako Games? Just letting you know now. If it's not something amazing, I'm going to be disappointed. Together, we descend the stairs into the basement. I'm less frightened than I was the last time I was here, but still, I don't know what to expect. What have they been hiding from us all this time? And why now? Are they willing to show us? It is us that they're showing. Bradley and me. Whatever is down there, everybody else already knew about it. Down and around and around and down. What is this? Alright, well... Slightly undone. I think... It's going to be Bradley's sister. Inside the cavernous, unfinished space of Nathaniel's basement, someone has built a medical laboratory. There are computers and equipment, and some that I recognise, some that I don't. And one patient, surrounded by tubes and wires, unmoving. We all hang back at the edge of the room, staring. Who is she? Not Sarah. Was she, was she called Sarah? I don't even remember. Alright, that's a good plot twist. It's a good plot twist. My sister. Uh, that's unexpected. Alright, alright. Alright, Hanako Games, I'll give you some credit. That was quite good. She's in a coma? Not exactly. Is she alive? At the moment, she is neither alive or dead, but in a state where she might potentially become either. So, a vegetative state. Okay. I never, get, I never got how you can call someone in a vegetative state, but you can't call them a vegetable. It's weird. Alright. A situation which will be altered when the procedure is complete. And that's the experiment that's been going down. This thing that you're doing, it finishes tomorrow. That is correct. She looks like a slurry pink princess in a fairy tale. The prisoner of a witch's curse trapped between life and death. To be fair, the lights are flickering, the music is weird, and there's odd sound effects. This is in no way good. Oh, alright. What happens then? Her spirit comes back or is lost forever. Which is why is it, Im it is imperative that the procedure is not interrupted. If the odds are only 50-50 at best... You've seen what you needed to see, now get out of here, I don't want you hovering over her. Can she hear us? Bradley stares at her motionless form, his hand instinctively outstretched. No, she is not there now. I just wanted to wish her well. Bianca will not remember, but we will. Let us go. Quietly, we file out of the experimental chamber, up the stairs, and back to the mansion proper. Nathaniel leads us to the sitting room and gestures us for everyone to make themselves comfortable on their chairs and sofas. He remains standing, his fingertips lingering over the curves of candlesticks atop the fireplace. Well... The sunlight through the window should be pleasant relief from the unnatural environment of the laboratory below. But even here, if you look closely enough, you can see the patterns of the force field crawling across the glass. Why the force fields then? Is that part of your experiment? 
I'm not entirely certain how they came about. There does seem to be some sort of feedback problem leaking into the electrical system. It was not intentional. But we can't shut it down and debug it at the moment. No, of course not. You could have told us from the beginning. What possible reason would there have been to trust you? You know what, Albert? You are a dick. You're an absolute dick. You know that. We could have saved us four and a half fucking days of trouble. But no, we lie because you're an emotional twat about your sister. <sighs> I'm going to get you, Albert. I want to get you. It's going to be hard. <laughs>